And welcome back to the Joanne Powell Show. I am Joanne. We are coming to you on the World Center of Broadcast Media, WCOBM.com. And this is the month of October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, we have been focusing on this on our show. And also want to welcome those who are joining us uh, on the Go Harrison Show on KPFK, um, utalk.us, and other um, um public radio affiliate so we're happy to have you listening with us but joining me now we have MJ Jenkins and you are a breast cancer survivor you're also the author of think pink think no pink pink, no pink no pink yeah Yeah. no pink because you know if there was no breast cancer there'd be no need for pink ribbons is my philosophy plus it's positive thinking the entire time I had breast cancer I only thought positive thoughts and I really beat cancer I believe from mind over matter and it is important I teach physicians and and uh, people with breast cancer the same type of philosophy of just your positive thoughts and around your you know positive thinking and one of the things I thought about being so positive was Mm -hmm. you know in 2012 I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma breast cancer Mm -hmm. I had the fast growing kind you know it's the most IDC is the kind of the most common one women get but the most not common one is triple negative Mm -hmm. mine was fast growing her two new positive throwing out a lot of lingo out there for you if you are familiar with breast cancer and one of the things I also shared was Angelina Jolie's breast surgeon you know today I really attribute that I'm alive Mm -hmm. because of Angelina Jolie's breast surgeon we we were sharing the same breast surgeon at the same time that she announced hereditary uh, defective gene her Mm -hmm. mother had died at a young age Angelina Jolie's mom had breast cancer and she was worried about breast cancer and got tested for the BRCA1 defective gene. Right. And there's also BRCA2. And so I have this thing, especially coming in time for Halloween, is you should fear the four myths of hereditary breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And the first is, you know, with Angelina Jolie, she had the hereditary gene. So I immediately checked out when I was with my breast surgeon that I was negative. I tested negative. I did not have a defective gene, uh, the BRCA1 nor the BRCA2, those two types. They are a subset of the kind of genes that get tested. And the first big fear with hereditary breast cancer is you know you you it, it doesn't relate to your mom or your dad like if your dad uh, doesn't have it the biggest the biggest myth mm-hmm. people have is that it doesn't matter if your dad had it or if it's only your mother's side well that's a wrong uh, you know, okay. eh, we had a buzzer at the show it doesn't matter. well it actually it's 50/50 both okay. your parents do impact the fact of whether you have the genes for defective okay. hereditary cancer in my case i tested negative for it so i'm thinking hey call call Brianna <laughs> call my sister call my aunts uh-huh. and say you're clear i got tested it's not hereditary but it wasn't a until I held a forum last year uh, called Survive to Thrive with Dr. Alice Police from UCI Health mm-hmm. that she c- informed me that your testing for hereditary cancer is only a subset. There's an entire pie chart and there's this big gray area of the pie that is genes not tested. Oh. So I had hereditary cancer in my family and the fact that my grandmother died from it, mm-hmm. my aunt Eleanor died from breast cancer, I, I realized that I had the need to There's look at it further. There's a pattern there. So, so yeah. your, family, your family roots do matter, both the husband, you know, your mom and your uh-huh. dad. And the other issue is it also contributes to your children. So I was thinking, oh, phew, I had boys, so maybe mm-hmm. this doesn't matter for my children. Well, actually, there are a certain percentage of male breast cancers, right. you know, chest cancer, where the men get breast cancer and so my boys are a huge risk Mm -hmm. of having breast cancer possibility so how do you um deal with that like like, do you just work on their diet the things that you have control over with yourself and your your um you know your family members you know in my book think no pink i wrote a whole section about the types of foods you can eat that are you know reducing your risk to cancer but you know the big four myths of 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 hereditary breast cancer is the fact that the ethnic groups do count too so take a look at it if you do have you know a jewish background the brca2 test would be helpful to get tested on because your ethnicity really covers all ethnic races all ethnic backgrounds, mm-hmm. I should say. Mm-hmm. And the third, the third fear is really the, the myth that people have is you are denied health insurance. Well, you know, we have GINA, G-I-N-A, which is the Genetic Information mm-hmm. Non-Discrimination Act, and there's never been a documented genetic discrimination. And the fourth, the fourth myth I want to point out is 
you know, people think that only Hollywood cannot afford, you know, with Angelina Jolie, it's such an expensive, it's a real expensive uh, test. It's not anymore because your insurance now covers it. Okay. And when I was detected, I had to pay for it out of pocket. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things I thought was really important, having hereditary background, my family having cancer. But you do have some amazing tests these days to actually get tested early. So the biggest things for me in my book, Think No Pink, mm -hmm. is I wrote, early detection is key. Yes. And feeding your body good foods. Mm -hmm. I have a BFF background where I'm a breast friend forever <laughs> because I help physicians and doctors and health coaches out there get retooled and trained about how to help women with breast cancer before, during, and after. Because even though you've had it, you're not out of the woods. Yeah. You still can have metastasized <clears throat> breast cancer okay. that comes back. Okay. So eating healthy, organic greens, getting you know non-GMO in your diet, which means organic, no pesticides, mm -hmm. really watching that type of things around you. You have so much <coughs> more control these days because we're educated yeah. about how we can help our, reduce our risk to breast cancer. Yeah, and that's, I think, kind of the, the key component that you can control what you can control and the things that are out of your control, you just kind of work with the doctors and, you know, a lot of prayer if you're a spiritual-minded person. Right. And then you were talking about mind over matter. That is so important because I think it if you have positive, you know, thoughts that that will be, you know, generate good It comes positive. around. It's that yes. universe thing where it it, is. you surround yourself with positivity. Like having a little animal like Coco. Get, get a little furry friend yes. that is Yay. there with you every step of the way. <laughs> Coco is my little BFF yes. for breast cancer because I believe every woman that has breast cancer has the freedom mm -hmm. to recreate and redesign your life the way you want it. And that means having more love in your life yeah. and unconditional love is key. And when you're not feeling good, that cute little furry face is there, whether it's a cat, a dog, a rabbit, a, whatever it is that the gives love. you comfort. And it's something that I think is important because a lot of times when you are going through this, your family may not understand, you know, what is happening to you. And they look at you like, well, why are you doing this? Why aren't you getting up? You know, and you sometimes you just need to regroup and focus on yourself with positive thoughts, smile mm -hmm. more and <laughs> have a little furry friend to keep your company. But with hereditary breast cancer, there are four myths that we want to make sure that you don't just blow it off and think, hey, I'm, yeah. I'm in the clear because Dr. Alice Police convinced me I really wasn't in the okay. clear on hereditary breast cancer just because I tested negative for the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene. And basically don't panic, but just be aware of it? Be or aware, just go to your doctor, get okay. tested, but also read my book, Think No Pink, because I talk about changing your lifestyle, getting fit, getting healthy, like coming out October 22nd this weekend, we're walking the Making Strides Walk, it's makingstridesvalk.org in Santa Monica, yeah. but if you've missed the the Making Strides Walk in your city, then just go to makingstridesvalk.org to contribute because we're raising money through the end of the year. And that's the nice thing about the Cancer Society fundraisers with this or, you know, Relay for Life. You can continue giving. I know. And with Susan Komen as well, the, mm -hmm. the Race for the Cure. All of these are such important at entities of beating cancer. And on, on November 5th in LA, I want to invite you out to the Four Seasons because giants in science will be talking about research and what we're doing to beat cancer and how your money really goes right to the cause of eliminating breast cancer. Well, thank you so much for joining me again and, and think giving no the pink. one. Think no You've been pink. watching the Joanne the Powell show. <laughs> we'll be back next week, same place, same time. So take care and think pink. Think no, no pink. pink, right? No cancer. <laughs>